Are you looking for the best welding boots? In this video we will look at some of the 7 best welding boots on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Irish Setter 2 Harbors Men's 83906 Pull-On Boot. Welding is dangerous. It involves heat, molten metal, and electricity, so welders need a pair of boots designed for welding, like this pull-on set of Irish Setter boots that can keep them safe from the wide range of hazards they deal with regularly. These boots are made of full-grain leather and have an insulated sole that is intended to reduce the risk of accidental electrocution. However, the sole can also withstand high temperatures of up to 475 degrees Fahrenheit, protecting the wearer from heat, flame, and molten metal spatter. This pair of welding boots is available in a range of sizes, and the boots have a steel toe cap and a waterproof design for additional protection. However, they aren't the best option for long-term use because of the bulky size and heavy weight. At Number 2. Rock Rooster Men's 6-inch Brown Waterproof Work Boots. Choose from a variety of toe cap options with the laced Rock Rooster work boots that are available with a soft toe cap, composite toe cap, and steel toe cap to keep the wearer's feet safe from falling objects. These full grain leather boots are resistant to heat, flame, and molten metal spatter. Additionally, they are designed to be waterproof, so users don't need to worry about puddles forming in their boots. These boots feature a puncture-resistant Kevlar layer in the soles to prevent a nail or any other sharp object from piercing the bottom of the boot. There is a modest range of sizes available for men, but this boot isn't currently available in women's sizes. Just keep in mind that these boots have exposed laces, so it may be a good idea to invest in new Kevlar laces to avoid fire hazards. At Number 3. Iron Age Men's Groundbreaker IA5016 Work Boot. Frustrating moments happen on the job site, like a heavy tool missing the steel toe cap and hitting the top of the foot. However, with this pair of Iron Age welding boots, wearers can at least feel certain that the metatarsal bones are adequately protected by the built-in met guard. These boots also have a steel toe cap so that the entire top and front of the foot is protected from falling objects. Made of full-grain leather, including welt construction for additional safety, this pair of welding boots is resistant to heat, flame, spatter, and electrical hazards. The boots are manufactured in a wide assortment of men's sizes. It's also important to mention that while the met guard covers most of the lace in each boot, the laces are still exposed at the top. At Number 4. Cat Footwear Revolver Steel Toe Work Boot. Falling tools or heavy objects may not seem like a big deal but an injury from this type of accident can be severe depending on the weight of the object. To stay safe on the job site, it's necessary to have a pair of work boots with a protective safety toe cap. The Cat Revolver work boot features steel toe caps for this exact purpose and moisture wicking lining to improve comfort. Pull the welding boots on with the dual pull handles located on either side of each boot, users won't need to struggle to grip slippery sides or hold on to a dirty sole. The full-grain leather boot and rubber soles protect the user from heat, flame, spatter, and accidental electrocution. These boots are also available in women's sizes. At Number 5. Mooselog Women's Steel Toe Work Safety Boots. Electricity is a very real hazard on the job site and at home, so it's important to have welding shoes with insulated soles, like this pair of Mooselog safety boots. Designed for work in the trades and avid DIYers, these welding boots have puncture-resistant soles to keep the wearer safe from nails, screws, and other sharp objects that could otherwise pierce the bottom of the boot. The soles also insulate the wearer, lowering the chance of accidental electrocution. A breathable mesh lining inside the boots increases user comfort by improving the airflow to the wearer's feet to help reduce sweating. These boots are made of full-grain leather with a steel toe cap to protect from heat, flame, spatter, and falling objects, though the low-cut style offers less protection to the wearer's legs and ankles. A men's version is also available. At Number 6. Timberland Pro Men's MetGuard Steel Toe Work Boot. Pull-on welding boots avoid the problem of laces but can feel uncomfortable and bulky. So, if mobility, flexibility, and comfort are the primary deciding factors in the search for new welding boots, these laced Timberland boots are a great option. The boots are waterproof and have a mid-cut height to help ensure the top of the ankle and bottom of the leg are protected from heat, flame, and spatter. 
A steel toe cap and built-in metatarsal guard on the top of the boot protects the wearer from drop tools and other heavy objects, while the soles provide resistance to abrasion, slipping, and oil. These shoes are expensive, but they may be worth the premium price, especially considering the welt construction with Kevlar thread for additional protection and insulation. At Number 7. Dr. Martin's Arbor Women's Arc Steel Toe Work Boots. It can be difficult to find appropriate safety boots in a male-dominated field, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. These pull-on Dr. Martin's welding boots are both comfortable and effective for keeping the wearer safe from heat, flames, molten metal spatter, and falling objects. The boots feature steel toe caps and an insulating sole to help lower the risk of accidental electrocution. Comfort is a factor that can be overlooked in the search for welding boots, but wearers can work for hours in these boots because of the waffled memory foam padding that improves breathability by allowing air to move around the foot. The tumbled leather boot is heat-sealed and welted onto the outsole for additional protection and insulation, though the low-cut style does not cover the top of the ankle or lower calf.